Hey guys, Ramon here, and I'm trying something new today. I will be providing a little bit of commentary behind a trailer that I'm building for the 370Z. It's gonna store some tools, some tires, and I'll actually be towing it behind on the 370Z itself. And I'm gonna use it when I go to longer distance track days or autocrosses this year and hopefully in the next coming years. I like the idea of covering the tire trailer so that it's not drawing attention to the track wheels. That, that usually makes me nervous when I go to different events. And if I'm gonna cover it, I might as well be creative. So I'm not gonna get super detailed. This isn't a tutorial, a how-to, it's more documenting the build. Starting off with the idea, I just thought it would be funny pulling a VW Beetle behind a 370Z. And that's what I'm working towards. So I looked up a couple pictures online. I found a really nice side profile shot of a VW Beetle and I actually cropped half of that out. And this is the result. I giggled for a couple minutes and said, okay, that's what I'm building. It's actually perfect because I'll be using it on a Harbor Freight 40 by 48 inch trailer. So it's gonna be a, a fiberglass shell but the tires are wider than 40 inches so they're gonna have to protrude a little bit out but it still wanted to cover them well that vw beetle just has some huge huge fender flares and that's what i needed for the design so i took this little screenshot that i cropped out i actually imported it to excel and you can draw over pictures in excel that's what i did and after I drew all of the main body lines, I deleted the picture off and then I was left with just the lines and I actually used the cells to, to measure the proportions. I had it to where one cell equal one inch and that gave me the baseline to make this drawing that you see on the concrete in the basement here. To then transfer the drawing on the basement floor to actual cardboard, I got some shipping paper, got enough sheets taped together, and I essentially just laid it out on top and then started cutting to match the outside dimensions of the, the drawing that I made. And after that, it was just essentially busy work. You got enough cardboard together, uh, sometimes you had a tape different sheets of cardboard to create something big enough and then you create what's going to be the skeleton of the trailer. It took a lot of time, a lot of cardboard, a lot of trips to the recycling center to try to find some big cardboards that wouldn't have to tape all of them together but it's just rinse and repeat. I did three main ribs and then two smaller side ribs to allow me to build a little bit of, of shape into the, the trailer itself. We'll see how that turns out. And here you see me try my best to space each rib equally. It should be 10 inches between each one. I want the non-wheel portion to be 40 inches so that it matches perfectly with the Harbor Freight trailer I'll be using. This is a big challenge. That drop in distance made it really difficult to understand. Are you 10 inches? Because you angle a little bit, you might be a little more. And that became a big, big challenge. Also trying to 
bend the cardboard a little bit so that it would hold the shape while maintaining rigidity was really difficult. And you'll see later on I actually had a, a nice little fix for that. The thing that really hurts my soul is my idea of this project at the very beginning. Throughout this past week, I probably spent about six, seven hours cutting cardboard strips because I thought I was going to lay down a lot of strips and just fill it in with some putty or something later on. Well, after doing a couple of them, I saw that it's really not an option. There is so much variability on the cardboard strips. They're not straight at all and not even the rough edges, just that three dimensional poking outside or into the, the trailer itself. It would have been a very, very uneven surface and it would have been near impossible to try to apply fiberglass to, so that didn't work. But that's the nature of the beast. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm learning as I go. And as part of that process, I found that, well, it's a lot easier to actually have intact cardboard to create an overall surface, except for the edges where you would have to bend something else to make it work. Well, I had dozens and dozens, probably 80, 90 cardboard strips. I went through all of my cardboard over the previous week, creating those strips that now I had to toss. So I made another trip down to the recycling center to scout for some bigger pieces of cardboard. Now towards the nose of the trailer, the contour is the same. The edges are the same diameter because that's where the wheels go. It didn't make sense to taper that off. So that became a lot easier. I could just get a larger sheet of cardboard as you'll see here shortly. Now the idea of this is to finish out the cardboard, try to make it as smooth as possible, add some preliminary shapes to it. And then I'll go in with the drywall patch putty. Hopefully that'll work. I pretty much want to model this into a sculpture. I'll then probably paint this on a glossy finish and then apply wax to it. And that's going to be my mold to apply the fiberglass epoxy and fiberglass cloth. I still have no idea what I'm doing. I've never messed with fiberglass ever in my life. So I'll be scouting YouTube trying to figure out what the best type of epoxy is for this what the best type of cloth is, how much do I need. All that will be shared on upcoming videos. The next one I'll focus on is the actual sculpture creation process. I have no idea if it's gonna work. Is a drywall mixture gonna crack? Is it dry? Is it gonna dry evenly? Is it gonna destroy the cardboard by making it wet? I have no idea, but that's the fun of it. We'll learn as we go and looking forward to seeing what the final outcome is. Shout out to my 23 subscribers for hanging in there. And I know this is not a racing related video, but hopefully it's okay. I had a blast making the cardboard. Every time I go in the garage, I giggle looking at this thing. So overall, it's been a lot of fun. I don't know how many parts this series is gonna be. Four or five parts for the different main components of it being the filling of the mold being the fiberglass laying down i'll probably include a couple videos for the actual trailer creation as well share my ideas if i think it's creative people haven't done it I'll, I'll try to add it on here as well thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoy the video and we'll see how this turns out